morning everyone and welcome back to the UK. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It is lovely to be home and I absolutely loved the response to my holiday video. I was a bit worried because obviously Josie's had gone out before mine so I was worried that no one would watch mine. Okay. And I'm so glad that you still did because I absolutely loved that video. I think I've got a little bit nervous over the years to like show people that I care about and things like that in my videos because the way the internet works and like I completely understand it like from watching Love Island at the moment the last episode that I watched is the one where Faye loses her mind at Teddy and obviously I'm only seeing kind of like what they're showing me in that so it's very easy to like jump to a conclusion and so when I show you things I'm like oh but I know the full context in that and I know what happened around that so it's absolutely fine and then it goes out onto the internet and somebody that doesn't know the or, or lots of people it's my fault in that respect because I just like I assume that people will be like, I'm sure it wasn't meant like that or whatever. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it was just really nice to be with our friends in the video and for you guys to experience how lovely our friendship is. Because honestly, we had such a lovely time and I am sad to be home, but in the same breath, like I had such a good time. I was ready to come home. I was ready to see Porter and it was all good. This morning I have a appointment which I'm heading to now. I'm hopefully only going to be seven minutes late. Oh, I got stuck in traffic which is so annoying. I look like I'm on holiday but you can't see my outfit because my outfit is very very holiday-esque but I will show you when I get home. Um, it's Saturday today and my husband has informed me that we are having something rather special today. We've got two of our friends coming over, Vic and Alex, and we're having like a little evening together with the dogs. I've also got Bolly with me. I'm looking after Bolly for Carrie over the weekend, which I think Carrie thinks that it's a burden. But for me, I'm like, I love having Bolly. <laughs> Honestly, I love having him with us because Porter's just always so happy when Bolly's around and they just play so wonderfully. And I just love my home being full of animals. It just, it, it brings me so much joy. So yes, we've got Vic and Alex with their little pooch bow coming over this evening and we're doing drinks. And I think that Ali's like organized something and I'm really, really looking forward to what he has planned. He made me clean my greenhouse yesterday. So I'm guessing that it is going to be in my greenhouse or something like that, but I, I'm not too sure yet. I'm also knee deep in planning a very, very exciting party and I apologize if I'm talking to you, well, I am talking to you from my dash cam. I know that people don't like it, but often I feel like I'm, I'm so able to speak to you guys when I'm like on the way somewhere. You know, like when I'm not like distracted by everything that's happening, I'm just concentrating on the road and I can just talk. So, sorry, <laughs> but it's really, it works for me. So I hope that it doesn't annoy you too much. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I'm knee deep in planning a very last minute celebration. I have my brother and my sister-in-law and my nephews and my niece coming to stay. And I'm really, really excited. Honestly, I've been so excited about this. We were supposed to have them over like two weekends ago and it didn't work out. And I was so glad that we were able to rearrange it for something so like soon as well. They're coming up to stay and I kind of want to make a bit of a thing out of it because they don't come to stay with me often. And obviously in England, we are coming out of uh, the back of our COVID restrictions. And my, some of my family, like I haven't seen my grandma in nearly two years. My grandma took the sheltering of elderly people very, very seriously during COVID. And I totally and utterly respected that. And so, yeah, I've wanted her to be absolutely fine. And so what we've decided to do is to throw a big party. Fingers crossed we can pull it off, fingers crossed. I basically want to throw a party that celebrates everything that we missed during lockdown. I can't remember who told me about someone doing this and I just 
loved the idea. So yeah, I can't remember where I saw this. If it was you in my life, please let me know. But I basically want to celebrate everything that we missed from birthdays to new homes to, I don't know, graduations so I'm having I think I'm having oh Christmas New Year all of those kinds of things so I'm planning on having like three no four or five cakes one that says happy birthday one that says congratulations one that says happy Christmas one that says happy New Year all of that kind of thing and basically you take a slice of the cake of whichever one applies to you basically if you celebrated something if you had a birthday whatever you take a slice of the cake um, I'm planning on having like food vans so that nobody has to cook. There are some great cooks in my family, but this is going to be your day off. There's going to be drinks vans. We're hoping to have music, a dessert van, and it's just going to be a really lovely garden party. I'm going to be getting my grandma and my nonna their like a taxi over so that they don't have to worry and they can just go whenever they like are happy to or whenever they're comfortable to but they don't have to worry about driving all this way because my my grandma lives in Oxfordshire and um, my nonna lives in Harrow so I want to make sure that they're comfortable getting there and yeah so we'll organize cars and also for my like dad and my mom and people like that so that they can just enjoy themselves let their hair down blah 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 so yeah that's basically what i'm knee deep in doing i'm going to show you all of my inspo images i've got my wedding planner nicole working on this at the moment with me and um basically she planned my entire wedding and just she is flawless like absolutely flawless and I love working with her. She's so easy to work with and so professional. So at the moment, she's basically collating all of the, the businesses that contacted me because I put a story out on social media because what we were finding was because it was so short notice, there was a lot of people that were already booked, which is fantastic because the events industry has obviously been hit really hard during COVID. And what we wanted to do was to source new suppliers fully paid and just show you guys them but obviously I'm gonna be fully paying but that never stops me from shouting about um, businesses I think that people that watch me and have watched me for a while will know that paying for something or not paying for something never negates me telling the truth gets me into sticky situations sometimes but that's just the way that I am and I value too much the fact that I would not want you guys to go somewhere and spend your money and not get a good product or service. I'm not always gonna get it right for everybody because everybody has different standards and different um, wants and requirements, but I do my best. Anyway, that was a very long story. I am planning this party, so I'm really, really excited. I thought I would showcase a little bit of what we're doing over the weekend. We've not got long to do it, okay? Really don't have long to do it, but fingers crossed it's all gonna come together really, really wonderfully. And I know, I know from planning my wedding that these things like on the day you do all of this fluffy stuff and then on the day all that matters is that you're surrounded by people that you love so I know that it will be wonderful whether we have nothing there or what but we just want to have we just want to make it really special for people and I'll never forget when it came to our wedding that I remember my my uncle turned around to me and he said a good wedding finishes at 12 an exceptional wedding finishes at 4 well done <laughs> because our wedding went on until like four or five in the morning so yeah and he was like you've just thought about everything and I totally see like how much time and effort you've put in into this not for yourself but for the people that you love and I was like that means absolutely everything to me it really does and so we kind of want to do like it's kind of like a mini wedding Plan we're kind of planning a mini wedding no we're not we're not getting married and my cousin is convinced that I'm going to be letting her know that I'm pregnant but I I'm not family if you're watching definitely not pregnant so that's basically the plans for the weekend I have a appointment tomorrow I have a seamstress coming to my house because we have a new collection which starts next week um, it doesn't launch next week but the work behind the scenes in terms of like campaigns and things like that starts next week I have realized that I can never keep these things under wraps guys there are more collections okay and considering the last one was one of the most successful trading days of the year <clears throat> um, for the brand. I am really, really excited for this one to launch because I've just tried everything on and quite honestly, this is the best one yet. 
like all of my feedback and requirements like there was one thing that i said i was like i want to do these trousers oh. but if we do them they have to be done right and oh my goodness have they done these right that's all that i'm saying anyway i'm almost there i'm eight minutes away i'm gonna love you and leave you because i've been speaking to you for 16 minutes and carrie will kill me and a lot of you that hate me talking to you on dash cam oh. will be going ah <laughs> Hello boys, hello, hello, I love this welcome home from you both. All right, Porty, not on the legs. Goodbye, Bolly The kitchen has had one hell of a spruce up and we have sadly decided to say goodbye to our crucial trading rug. There were a few too many accidents on it. Porter had completely destroyed one corner and began to like make a hole in it and I just think a very expensive crucial trading rug is no match for this little boy. <laughs> Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Also, one thing I have found, I found it in the bottom of my Chanel beach bag. Hello, Bonnie Moo, good boy, is my anklet from Masika. I wish I'd taken this on holiday with me. I completely forgot. You, you think I'm talking to you, don't you? Because I'm down low. Um, but yes, I forgot to look for this. I actually need to put it on the right way because it's on the wrong way at the moment. What do you think, boys? Do you like it? Do you like it? Mr. Millen Gordon is in the house. Oh, I've not showered yet. Come on, get that camera away. Yeah, he's not showered. He's been working all day and working out all day as well. I have been sorting out the kitchen and I'm trying my best to make it feel like I'm back in Ibiza. The sun does keep coming out, but we've got the doors open. I've also got this really beautiful candle. I don't actually know where it's from, but it smells like a lemon grove. And the smell of this has prompted me to make a batch of my ginger and lemon tonic. It looks pretty horrendous at the moment because I always boil it for too long and it overflows. But um, I'm just letting the lemons soak in there and I'm gonna make these as two little bottles as well so that our guests can take them home with them because I always get a lot of compliments on my ginger and lemon tonic and I know that you guys love it. I'll link the recipe in the description box down below, but I'm gonna make these up now and then I'm also going to wrap up some of my brownies that I made. This was a recipe that Fleur sent to me when she saw that I had a glut of marrows from my kitchen garden. You might not have seen it, but it's on my Instagram. She sent me her courgette brown, well, I think it's a courgette mud cake, but I made it into brownies and they are so gooey and so perfect. They're vegan, these ones are, and they would be gluten-free if I hadn't accidentally used a bag of gluten-free flour that I didn't know we had. We don't even buy gluten-free flour, but we had some and I just grabbed the bag and poured it in and didn't think and um, needless to say, they're not gluten-free, but I'm okay with them. I'm gonna finish off making these. I've also had a little delivery from Reese arrive, which I've just unboxed there. I've also got Cafe Del Mar playing. I have Cafe Del Mar playing in the house. And um, so yeah, I'm basically just trying to recreate Ibiza in my home. And my stepmom is also on, my, on her way over because she's gonna tidy up my brows. To be honest, they've lasted really well, but she's gonna come and tidy them up for me. Kids, mm -hmm. what's white and smells like black tea? White tea. Go on in, I'll have one. <laughs> you want a cup of tea? Oh, you just on me. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, can we get another puppy? No. But Judith's no, just had, bad. but they've just had more puppies. No. Please. No. <laughs> but look at them play, they've just had more puppies. Well, we have fresh brows. My stepmom has come and tidied them up again, giving me a fresh set of brows. The guys from Ornate Design, I think, um, they are currently setting up in my greenhouse. It is almost done. So we're currently on a walk, just tiring them out for the rest of the evening so that they're not too excitable for when Bo arrives. And um, then we're gonna see the big reveal, but so far it looks absolutely incredible. Oh, they're so good. They've got such a good like eye for design and they've done something completely different to last time, which is really lovely. So I'm gonna finish off with these boys. 
down here and uh, head back to the house. Oh really? But then everyone looks tiny though. No, my, like my head's massive. <laughs> it stretches it out. <laughs> it's got so much head. Let's stretch this. Am I in the bottom corner yet? It's like banana head. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Mm. Ten seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four. There I was, and I was going to be like, I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm going to be the world's best vlogger. And I am so bad. I'm so bad because I'm on my phone. And look how distorted I am. I'm so sorry, but. I got so overwhelmed when Ali showed me everything that was in here that I was like, I want to get a video, I want to get pictures, I want to get this, that and the other. And now it is, what's the time? It's 10 o'clock and we've eaten all of the food, but it still looks spectacular. So I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to show you how my greenhouse looks. First of all, at night, because it really is wonderful. I'm going to give you a tour. I'm going to show you my wonderful guests because we've got Vic and Alex here in the greenhouse. But this has been such, oh, we've got lights. We have lights. <laughs> so this is how it looks at night. So we've got the little lighting, <laughs> lighting up the greenhouse. A very big magnum of rosé that the guys have brought over this evening. And these guys are enjoying some cigars. Enjoying the stunning as usual. And this is the setup. The fire has actually gone out, but look at all of this food. It has. We've definitely enjoyed a very long time in here. And we've got the lighting. Um, yes. And it just looks wonderful. <laughs> I can take that in for you. Oh, we have to write a date on the cork. I love a cork. A cork mem. But so it did look really, really pretty. Much. In fact, I'm going to steal some of Ali's footage because I know that Ali has the footage okay. that I want. Yes, you do. It's for your vlog and I'm going to steal it for my vlog because... I was terrible and I didn't vlog anything. I didn't vlog anything. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I am probably looking a little bit bleary eyed today. However, it is not the day after the night before. It's actually Monday now. And I definitely took yesterday on the sofa. <laughs> okay, I was like, I need to recover. The dogs were both knackered. And we ended up having a very lovely like snuggle on the sofa for most of the day. And I don't know about them, but I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Saturday was definitely a lesson for me in terms of vlogging because the regret that I had that I didn't give you like a proper tour of my greenhouse before obviously our guests arrived. I was just running around like a headless chicken. I was like trying to get ice ready and stuff like that. And I was like, oh no, I was so gutted. But I'm pretty sure that Ali will have a spectacular tour on his channel. No doubt, I did try and steal it from him, but um, he wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> and um, so that was a lesson. I can't ever feel that regret again. I felt such regret because it was so beautiful. I've never seen my greenhouse look so wonderful. Um, but today has been a makeup free day in the office. I have mainly been prepping. I have my campaign shoot tomorrow um, for my next collection, which I am vlogging, but you'll see that when it launches. I have this like terrible thing where I vlog and I get way too like excited and I show you things too early. So fingers crossed, I am able to hold back and not reveal all of this collection beforehand. <laughs> I'm such a nightmare. But no, we had a really, really lovely evening, like so lovely and um, just really nice to just chill. Now it's back to party planning. Oh, you're on the wonk. Today is sort of party planning day. Oh, why is this not working? This is <laughs> probably getting a little bit seasick there. Here, let me try a different one. There we go. Um, we are back to party planning today and one of the first gifts for my nephews has arrived. I have a very, very keen footballer for a nephew. He's eight years old now. I can't believe he's eight. That's so weird to say that. And um, he is like my, how do I put this? He is my, I feel like he's my spirit human. 
and he is magic to me. My first nephew is, is magic. I mean, my second nephew is also magic to me. He is magic in a different way. My first nephew is like, he is the most kind and sweet natured little boy ever. And every so often I get emails from him and it's the most adorable thing. It, it like, I can't tell you how much these emails when they pop into my inbox and he's like, hi, Auntie Lydia. I was wondering if you could come for a sleepover. And I'm like, drop everything, <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Whereas my other nephew is like just the most incredible little boy ever. Like he is so naughty and so cheeky, but it is the most fantastic thing about him and only he could get away with it. Anyway, first nephew is a keen footballer and um, he mentioned a particular footballer completely off his own back and it just so happened that um, I had a little bit of a connection. Not like, I don't, I don't know him, but I had a connection. And so I called in the biggest favor as to whether I could get a shirt signed for my nephew. And they pulled it off and I can't believe it. And we picked it up today. So I'm actually gonna measure this this evening. And I am going to have this framed so that it's ready for him in his room when he comes. I've got presents for my other nephew and obviously my niece coming as well. At six o'clock this evening, I've got a like Zoom call with my party planner. We've been confirming guests today. So I'm really excited to see like everything come together in the most short notice of ways ever, okay? <laughs> Literally talk about planning a party last minute. <laughs> but it's gonna be really good. I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. So we're gonna go through all of the ideas. I've got Alex, my nail lady, coming to do my nails this evening, ready for the, the shoot tomorrow. It's been a very creative and lovely day. I've been kind of like pinning things. You know what my style is. I love like English country garden or maybe like a bit Provence rustic as well. Those kind of vibes, Tuscan. I love all of that, that real rustic kind of look. So fingers crossed we're gonna be able to bring a little bit of country rustic to our home and like immerse our families in that. And it's gonna be really good fun. But I'm gonna jump on this call now and hopefully go through all of the ideas. But it's just, it's so exciting at the prospect of like spoiling our family and just having everyone together after such a long time because our wedding was honestly like, I think about it all the time and how much fun we had. And so I'm hoping that we're gonna make it a really good one. And my stepmom also had a really good idea about doing like a treasure hunt for the kids in the woodland. And yeah, so it's gonna be good fun. I can feel it. <laughs> Porcini Mushroom is recovering from a heavy weekend with his best friend. He even went for an early morning walk this morning, didn't you? Because Bolly was absolutely desperate for a walk, wasn't he? What's this on you, little feather? Little fluffy feather. But I think you've burned the candle at both ends, haven't you, little boy? You just get too excited when you have your friends around. Yes, you do. In fact, you miss your friends so much, you're sleeping in his bed. It's a little bit big for you, isn't it? Oh, look at that mushkins. And if only the internet could have heard you snoring earlier. Your little Snorlax. I thought I would show you a few new additions because we got back from um, Ibiza and there was this package and none of us could work out where this package came from. <laughs> we were like, who opened this? We literally text everyone that was in the house when we were gone, we were like, did you open this? Did you not? Who sent this? Turns out my dad, um, he's often talked about giving us some art pieces that he has and he's often talked about it. I know that he absolutely loves Ali's office and I think that he kind of envisioned that some of these pieces would work really well and they do. Ali's already put two of them up and we think we're gonna switch these ones out for some new ones that my dad has brought around. But he has popped up two of these. We think the colours work so well. Now my dad did tell me um, a little bit about these but apparently they're very collectible. These are like illustrations that were done years and years and years ago and apparently he's got quite a few of them. These ones, I can't remember where he said, I think I think my grandma bought them for him. So we've got a barrister or something like that and then we have an artist over here. But these ones, 
are the ones that we think are gonna work absolutely wonderfully. He bought these in Portugal years and years and years ago. These are some architectural drawings and they are so beautiful and we just think that these are so perfect for in this room so we might actually swap those out but use those maybe on the bookcase or something like that but if you remember we tried to get some um architectural drawings from musee home but they were too big for in the spaces but for us it's really lovely to have some items that are actually like from our families up on the walls and these are absolutely perfect so um i think this one needs a little bit of a rejuge but we are in love and then in the living room I'm just giving you a little bit of an update whilst um, I wait for my call. Please ignore the fact that our old lamps are on the floor, but our new lamps have arrived. These are from Ochre, and these are sort of like an aged grey-green colour, and they're a lot smaller, so they're a bit more sympathetic and just provide a little bit of light, because we've got a lot of lighting in this room. Ali's going to un secure these because he always likes to cable tie the cables to the legs that's his little streamline hack that he does so these will need to be moved off and these ones will be put into place but i think that they're really really beautiful they've got this aged brass feel great little side lamp and desk lamp and i think that they're beautiful and then the final piece of art that my dad brought around and even the frame is a work of art in itself is this now, if you remember, I found a little sailing picture on Facebook Marketplace and we've got it up in Ali's office at the moment. But this was, I think my, my dad or my grandma purchased this when the Mary Rose ship, I think it was like, I can't remember what my dad said, but they, they launched the Mary Rose again, basically. And so he got this at that time. Uh, when that happened and it's just the most beautiful print and I just think it looks so lovely and actually I think it works really well in here as well colour wise and then with the frame it's just really nice and warm and it works with the other art that we've got as well and I'm just over the moon with them because they're from my family and I just love having little bits and pieces like that in my home so that made me happy but now I'm going to stop showing you some home bits and I'm going to jump on a call because that is pretty much what I've got left to do today these are the ideas that we've Perfect, absolutely perfect. I love it. Amazing, perfect. I would love to help set up. Like, I do not want to not be involved in the setup of this. So I think that's actually a really good call that we can, like, we can all kind of set it up and have fun playing around with it. Yeah, this is looking lovely. Yeah, so this is like the, de the design and this kind of feel. Okay, perfect. That was what I was going to say. It won't look like this, right? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> oh, just the links. Oh, wow. Oh my God, I love that. I love, love, love that. You encapsulated a part of our world and they were, they loved it. Everyone loved it. And so to two years, well, three, nearly four years later, do something a little bit, you know, on a smaller scale, but still give them that kind of fun and experience and that, that kind of vibe. Again, I just love to do. Uh, how many cakes are we having? Did I say four or five? Five. Five. So just to show you our mood boards that Nicole has just sent over for the day, we're working with the Country Flower Company and they're gonna be dressing everything to make it look exceptional and beautiful and just very rustic and in line with everything. I've also just popped together a little bit of a plan. So I kind of want the banquet tables running along the wall and then maybe the we've got the Bucks Brothers doing like gin cocktails from their horse box and that would be in the corner. And then food tables here. We've also got, oh my gosh, a guy called the music guy. I feel like he is the answer to every like day garden party wedding thing because he starts off doing like two 60 minute acoustic sets during the daytime and then in between those sets he plays like ambient music and then in the evening he does like dj sets as well and then plays like music oh my god i just the moment that i saw him i was like that is exactly what we need and it looks brilliant we just watched his little um reels thing not reels but like his show reel perfect absolutely perfect we're just now trying to finalize food and all of that kind of stuff so that it fits with everything 
and we've ordered the cakes as well. The cakes have got five cakes. Five cakes. I'm so ex I'm excited about the cakes. This was my idea. These cakes were my idea because I was just like, it's going to be impossible to celebrate everything. Like every child that was born, every person that graduated, every person that achieved a goal in their life, every person that had a birthday, and every person that missed Christmas and New Year and all of those things. So this was my brainchild in that if you celebrated it, you take a slice of the cake. And I'm I'm. I love this idea. So we've got the cakes finalized. So it is all coming together, but I'm gonna update you on the process as and when we get there. <laughs> Porty waiting patiently at the front door for Alex. He absolutely <laughs> loves her. <laughs> He's very excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your friends? He's friends. He, he realised it's me. I don't look like this normally. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's your friend. It's your friend. Even the old 97 year old men say to me, Hello, young man. <laughs> Yes, they do. Oh my god! Yes, they do. It's probably just their eyesight. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Little porcini mushroom. He's my friend. He's my friend. Yes, belly up. Mm -hmm. And the Dagenet. If you realise it's Auntie Alex now. Yeah, look, full, fully given in. <laughs> look at this, Tekkers. I've got little flowers on my nails. So cute, like little English garden flowers. I'll put it in, because I can see that you're gonna lose your mind if I smudge it. Yeah. 